Hello and welcome to Vision This Week on Channels Television. I'm Bukola Joe Bukitumbi. Statistics from the International Air Transport Association shows that aviation supports 6.7 million jobs and some $68 billion of economic activity in Africa. But African countries face tough challenges in developing and upgrading the continent's infrastructure for air transportation. IATA insists aviation infrastructure built to global standards on the ground and in the air is one of the foundation stones for a successful air transport sector. Here at home, the year 2012 marked a new beginning for terminals as a remodeling exercise was rolled off and massive investments were made in air navigation services infrastructure. Three years down the line, most of the terminals have not been completed. This week, our focus on the provision of aviation infrastructure in the country and our background report is up next. The aviation industry supports $2.4 trillion of the world's gross domestic product. The world airlines carry over 3 billion passengers a year and 50 million tons of freight. Providing these services generates 8.7 million direct jobs within the air transport industry and contributes about $606 billion to global GDP. Here in Africa, Nigeria remains the biggest aviation market with a population of over 160 million people. In 2012, a national airport remodeling exercise began. Designed in phases, the implementation centered on the refurbishment of 11 airports. The Maritala Mohamed International Terminal was expanded on the D and E wings and extended a few meters forward. The General Aviation Terminal was not left out. Likewise, the International Airport in Abuja and the Malam Aminu Kanu Airport in Kanu. The renovation and upgrade projects were basically on the redesign of the exterior of the buildings to give them a modern look. The expansion of the front print of some of the buildings to create additional capacity, circulation space and the opportunity for increased commercial offerings. At the moment, some of the terminals in that phase of the exercise are yet to be completed owing to what the Ministry describes as paucity of funds. The Federal Government also signed a $500 million loan agreement with China for the construction of four international airport terminals in Abuja, Lagos, Port Harcourt and Kanu. Measuring the progress of the loan facilitated terminal is important and here in Kanu, the structure is almost at the roofing stage. The Permanent Secretary of the Aviation Ministry, Bin Tabello, is here to see for herself. The Managing Director of the Federal Airports Authority of Nigeria speaks on the progress of the other terminals. There will be disparity in time of completion uh, because uh, of the weather conditions and uh, because of also shipment of the uh, finishing materials. Uh, this will be the new international terminal and then uh, the uh, old international terminal will be used for Hajj operations and domestic operations. We are doing all that is possible. You see, the problem with Abuja is that uh, the new site for the new terminal is where we have uh, the operating terminal. 
unlike Kano where they are separated. So definitely you must have that traffic. We've been appealing to the general public to bear with us and also to leave their houses in good time so that they can reach uh, their, the terminal building in good time to meet up their, with their flights. Yeah. All of them are at various stages of completion. If you go to Patakut, I was in Patakut recently, it's at this stage, they are also roofing. Uh, it, Kano is roofing. Abuja is also uh, just started roofing. Uh, Lagos is slightly behind because of the problem we had at the beginning with the sighting of the terminal. But they are also trying to catch up. Alpha Whiskey 101 heavy lift helicopter inbound from Katrina. We are maintaining 2,500 feet of 1017. The terminal is not the only thing in the works here. A new control tower that had been in the works for a while is also up and running. The field will be at 03 next hour. We are 11 minus two endurance of one hour. With the controllers in the new control tower, certainly the workload has significantly gone down. The level of stress has gone down. Now there are enhancements and improvements that are associated with this new facility. For example, when it comes to strip management, you know in the old tower you use the manual strip, I mean paper strip, you know, in the different colors, pink, uh, above, blue, and the rest. Now, with the new tower, we use electronic strips. Again, in this new tower, you don't use a pen, so you don't need a barrel. You have an electronic one. And uh, you have an archiving system that uh, is automated. So uh, it has a lot of advantages that has actually made working in the new control tower you know, very stress-free. When all is said and done, what passengers look for to are facilities that not only promote the safety and security of the airspace, but also the comfort of the passengers. Mm -hmm.